Hi there, I'm Anton and I thank you very much for watching this tutorial. If you are watching this tutorial, you are probably looking for a way to trace and paint review your picture. As you might have already found out, the tracing options within After Effects are limited and getting the right trace and creating a fill to get a really nice drawing effect, a re review like you see right here, it can take you hours and there are simply not all the options you might need in, within After Effects. So uh, in this tutorial I want to show you an alternative that I have created with a friend over the past year and it's called the Painting Animator and it gives you all the options you need and a very straightforward user interface to just create these awesome uh, paint reveals within minutes. So it's very easy to operate. If you're looking for such an effect it will probably save you hours of work. So let's jump into it and I show you how it works. So the painting animator comes uh, in two files. One is the browser tool and one is the After Effects project file. So first of all you need to open the browser tool. In here you can select your picture, make your settings about the tracing and finally save your tracing file which you're then going to import into After Effects. So let's start by importing a picture. First of all you need to choose a, a crop or you can zoom in or zoom out or simply click the fit button and it will just fit right in here. Then you can proceed to the close-up selection. So the painting animator is made out of four separate traces. Three close-up traces and one trace for the whole picture. So first of all you need to select your hotspots, your close-ups uh, you can select the size of it and where it is located. So maybe the first one is located on this Polaroid picture, picture right here. The second might be up here. And the third uh, maybe right here. So if you have done your selection you can trace the project. It takes a few seconds. And after that you can already uh, check your traces and see uh, how it looks. So this is close-up number one. This is close-up number two. This is close-up number three. And this is the whole picture. So these look already pretty cool, but of course you have several settings so you can refine your tracing and have it more act like you have a mind. So all you need to do is turn on the expert mode and you will find all kind of settings to refine your traces. So each of the four traces is made out of two traces actually, one for the dark areas and one for the light areas. So for instance, you can change where the uh, traces should start. So maybe we want to have the dark traces start up here and the light traces start right here. So after we have done some changes, we can trace uh, the close up again and have a preview. And this is how it now would look like. So one of the main things you can change in the settings is the level of detail. So let's have a, another look at this close-up. So you can see not every window is traced individually. It's, it's more like a block. The whole Colosseum is uh, revealed in one uh, big part. But if you want to have a more refined, more detailed trace, can go up here and say the level of detail is high. Trace it again. And now you can see that each window is being traced individually. Like the trace is more detailed, uh, f tr uh, finding smaller edges. And so you need to look at your picture and say uh, and see if you want to have a very detailed trace or a more rough trace. So. It really depends on the picture, but you can make the 
change right here you can also like say uh, the speed of the dark trace uh, compared to the light trace is uh, slower or faster or the light or the dark trace um, starts early or later so these are the settings you can do here for each close-up and of course for the full image and after you're done you get this funky looking png file this is your trace file you simply need to right click uh, save it under uh, a place and name where you can remember it my trace save it and that's it for the browser tool so now we can open the painting animator after effects project file so the most important work we have already done in the browser tool now in the after effects project file we simply need to import uh, import our picture and the tracing file you can simply drag it in here in your project then you need to place uh, these pictures in uh, specific uh, compositions you have one composition for your picture the place picture composition you need to drag your picture in here and then you need to open the place trace file png composition and place your png file in here and now you are, would already be ready to render your first uh, file um, there are two ready to made compositions one uses all three close-ups and one is using only two close-ups so uh, let's hit the render preview and I'll show you what you get right out of the box without touching anything so this already looks pretty cool and we didn't even touch anything in after effects but of course we can uh, change quite a few things within after effects so for instance for each close-up we can change the camera move uh, we can change the the bleeding of the color so, so if we have much more bleeding you can see that the color bleeds into the canvas and you uh, or you can have less bleeding or we can say that you want to see the canvas through the painting like uh, now you can see a lot of canvas or you can say you don't want to see uh, much canvas after the paint was being applied or you can add a depth of field so uh, parts of the picture are getting blurry because they are out of focus and besides these settings you can also uh, change the canvas of your whole composition so uh, right now this is this old canvas being used but the painting animator comes actually with six different types of canvases and papers so you can choose one or you can even import your own canvas and place it into this composition and render the whole uh, picture reveal uh, with your specific canvas so besides these uh, ready to render compositions you also have a composition where you have the whole canvas and you can create your own camera move and you can say for each close-up and the whole picture reveal when you want to uh, have it started so you can say close-up one and two should start at the same time and end uh, one after the other and then close-up three so should start and the whole reveal should start somewhere here and end with close up three and you can render this and use uh, the traces for each close up to create your own reveal and uh, your own camera move and uh, have the exact 
um, final video that you desire. So I think I was able to show you how easy it is to work with the painting animator and that you really need only a couple of minutes to get your first results. Of course you can tweak it uh, if you want and have it try to get the exact uh, trace that you have in mind and do your own camera and add your own canvas and you can do all this but you can also like have a few quick settings, import your pictures and trace file into After Effects and hit the render button and get your final uh, video within minutes. So I think this tool saves you a great deal of time if you're looking for this effect. So I hope you liked this tutorial and enjoyed it and um, have this tool in mind in case you ever need such an effect. Okay, thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.